I've got to get on to something slightly more lighthearted, and that is, again, relating to students. A Catholic college in Melbourne is uh, getting a bit of attention for its uh, pretty strict, Emmanuel College it is, pretty strict <laughs> rules about uh, about clothing. Uh, no nose piercing, uh, no nail polish, uh, and no mullets, COVID. Mm, no. <laughs> <coughs> no mullets. Man, when I went to school, they had pretty strict rules, but we all had mullets. <laughs> well, I want to go back to your editorial, Chris, because you said you had a mullet. Well, I had a wicked mullet, time, yeah. right? I, I want you to come in with a photo on Monday and show us I, what I, that the looked early like. early mullet, and I was first a journalist back in the I'm not quite Adelaide. sure I believe it, but... <laughs> but I, a, the mullet should be banned everywhere. You know, <laughs> if, if, if I were Prime Minister or Premier, I, I would just be banning the mullet flat out. I'm not it sure is, Western Sydney would like hearing that. I don't care who doesn't like it. It's dead set disgusting. It should not be seen anywhere, and I'm, I'm terribly sorry to hear that you once had one, Chris. But... If you have an issue with the uniform policy, yeah. why do you send else. your kid yeah. to that school? That's exactly why the parents are sending them there in many cases exactly. for that discipline. Just briefly, we're nearly out of time. Are you pretty encouraged by global warming improving the quantity and quality of our wine? Well, what's interesting is Bordeaux complained to the government saying because of price gouging and the fact that it's oversupply, they actually were desperate to sell more wine. So I think this might be a good PR <laughs> start yeah. so they can sell more wine. Now we'll be drinking a nice Sussex <laughs> or a nice Yorkshire in the future. Indeed. <laughs> and, and the best bit is, of course, that all these cows that fart and create more global warming, it's all good because it means you can have your steak and, and it's going to create red better wine. Well. wine. Brilliantly done. It. That's it. Brilliantly done, Caleb. Thanks for joining us, Amanda <laughs> Rose. You have better wine and more steak. The world's getting better.